All right, let's get this shit started. GBA com. I want to say this that this version of the game is somewhat faster than playing Recom, just because it's 2D and everything's smaller, and it's uh, you can more easily um, cover distance quicker. Also, we're going to be doing Reverse Rebirth as well, which I hear horror stories about. You're fucking dead. Oh, let's go. Reward time. Let's go. You're dead. They will hunt you down like a dog. The seven seals. Alright. You guys are going to have to give me a minute to at least start the playthrough first. Somebody asked me what gaslighting and Stockholm syndrome is. Let me just make sure that my controller is working. Kingdom Hearts 2 has screwed us again. Where is the settings? Okay, there it is. The thing my bother for controllers. Glancy. Oh, I just hears three rewards and then fucking Glancy. Okay. Get started. <laughs> Brightness. This game has great pixel art. Too bad I wasn't able to get a CRT filter on it. Oh yeah, John Sheena doesn't exist. I need to delete that. I bet. Alright, let's go. Look at that FMV okay. right there. Good to see you. I'll get him. Look at that. Chaos. Chaos. Yeah, there's no point to watching this stream in 1080p. You, you no, know, you gotta respect Basically. that, but Drake just does whatever. At least the rewards. <laughs> who is this guy? <laughs> uh, who is this guy? Hey, stop, stop using. I turned the rewards off. Let's at least watch the fucking intro cutscene. For fuck's sake. How did they get this FMV onto this fucking two kilobyte cartridge? I really wish that this was a PS2 game back in the day, but that probably would have fucked up KH2's development severely. <laughs> this FMV is 30% of the game's size. Sheesh. Alright, rewards are back on. Yeah, this does look a lot better on the fucking very, very, very small screen with a low res. But this this fucking sprite art looks fantastic. Wow, they have it canned Pilchy. Okay, while I'm here, let me let me put on the thing that makes that not loud as fuck. I'll get him. Okay, now now that shouldn't be so severe. At least for you. For me, it'll be just as loud, but I can deal with it. Lower, lower the gamma of the capture. Gamma, he's nuts. This is MGBA by default. Is 
This looks normal. I'll check the settings. Get out of the way! I can't see! There are cars there, motherfucker! Get out of the way! Yeah, now we're back to calling him Goofy. His name's not Dingo anymore. This isn't VBA, this is MGBA. Been away for a bit BC Uni, but had to come back for the best Kingdom Hearts game. Yo, Boyo, with the seven months, thank you very much. Yeah, I saw Tobey Maguire was at the, uh... The, um... Billy Eyelash... Concert. Cage 4, when is that announced? Oh boy, you've got a lot to catch up on. You have a lot to catch up on. Such a nice noise with the text scrolling. Let me just make sure that the chat isn't overlapping in an annoying way. There we go. This theme is crazy, in this version. It's like very scary because of how low res and shitty it is. Overlap with the blackboards of 4x3. This is actually 3x2. This is not 4x3. The GBA screen is 3x2, it's a bit wider. Almost square. Yeah, Cage 4 definitely needs to have um, enemy encounters that aren't trash. That'd be swell. This music sounds good without the compression. Is there a version of this theme without the compression? Like the the MIDI? I mean, not... Yeah, there's recom, but I'm talking like... Imagine this MIDI, but without compressed instruments. Is that what you mean? Because that goes without saying. Fred wouldn't say that if he uh, was referring to fucking... Recom. Somebody ripped the MIDI files off this, I pieced them together and they sound way better. Is it uploaded anywhere? I'll peep that later. Have you uploaded it? Is a YouTube playlist with no compression MIDI? Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's more like it. Guy in the black coat tutorial's mom. It's literally Marusha, but okay. I'm going to be skipping Disney cutscenes. Like cutscenes in the middle of worlds where it's just, oh yeah, here's the cage one plot and some weird twist. I'll be skipping those. Rejoice. Face no. Yo, the Diz Punch with the Prime Gaming stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you guys for all the generosity today. I've gotten so many bits because all the people trying to fucking talk amongst the uh, amongst the crowd. Having a really fucking active chat is great because it makes people donate bits to use TTS. I appreciate that. 
fastest chat I've ever seen today. Thank you guys for all the interest in my particular take on KH4. What's the goal at 350? At 350 subs, I will be doing a PS3 playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 2.5. And to top it all off, it'll be a Gold Crown playthrough. And um, I will be putting the PS3 right next to the microphone and turning off the noise gate so that PS3 fan ASMR lines the entire playthrough. So, um, but that's, that's a, that's a tall, that's a tall order, getting me to fucking do a Gold Crown playthrough of that version is going to cost, uh, 350 subs. So, um, we'll get there eventually. You will get there eventually, that's all up to you. It's funny how this game imitates the buoyant style of air combat that KH1 has better than any any handheld uh, game that came after it. Isn't that interesting? It even has like dry hop acceleration. You know what a dry hop it is? A uh, dry hop means, um, when you jump off the ground without acceleration, but then you press forward, you get like a tiny bit of acceleration, but nothing substantial, as opposed to that. Yeah, GBA column time. I've been meaning to do this playthrough for a while. Today was a perfect opportunity. I wonder how long it'll take to get through this. I don't have any frame of reference for how long this game plays. How, uh, how long this playthrough is, rather. Not long? Yeah, that's what I figured. I'll, I'll be streaming for three more hours today. Are you doing Riku's side too? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely shorter than Recom, especially if I'm going to be skipping um, the uh, Disney cutscenes in this. Because I don't care to take that time for those cutscenes. Ars Arcanum trash in this. The balance of slights is totally different. Alright, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an expert. Yeah, Jafar card is interesting because he doesn't protect your attack slide, so ours can't be protected. And this version might actually be kind of fucking hard, too, because, you know, it's not busted the way Recom is. So I'm actually going to be leveling my health. Uh, listen to the disgusting version of this theme. God, I'm gonna fail the tutorial, Heartless. Nice. This is a pretty comfy version of the game, I will say.
Double tapping a direction for dodge rolls is kind of trash, though, but I'll get used to it. Can I even pause the game? I can't. Ever tried playing this on the GameCube GBA player? I wish I had one of those. I've I've used that once because like a friend had one, but um, the most fucked up thing about the GameCube GBA player is that the disc you insert to make it work is more expensive than the piece itself. Because everybody lost the fucking disc that's supposed to come with it that you're forced to use as a DRM thing. Like the disc, you'll go for a hundred dollars, but the piece itself will be like twenty. So if you still have the disc, and the piece, if you still have the disc, fuck the, fuck the attachment, if you still have the disc that you're forced to use with it, um, consider yourself lucky. Because you can sell that for about a hundred dollars. Have the disc, but it's PAL. Oh yeah, so it's basically not worth anything. Ah yes, slide dash. The most groundbreaking slight. Definitely better than getting health. Yeah, the voice clips are very good for this. It's just weird that Sora says here when he's slashing, that's not normal. You gotta pick up all the fucking orbs yourself for EXP, that's crazy. Can't have shit in Detroit. How can I open up the map? I can't even pause the game. Am I still in tutorial mode? Yeah, what what are the juiced slights in this other than strike raid? I know about strike raids and shit, multi-hit strike raids and whatnot. Are there any other better ones? Sonic Blade? In this version? Yeah, Stalling Dash is probably better than it is, um, in Recom here. It selects the map. I thought I, I did press that button, nothing happened. Blitz is good in this version, really. Yeah, look at that Leon portrait, that's pretty wild looking. Cage is heading to the real world. It's time for Sora to have a cage to Atlantic musical world. That's high school musical. That would be interesting, to say the least. But maybe, like, what if they did it like, um. It's a cool Yuffie sprite. What if they did it like, um, Yakuza? And it was cool, like Yakuza. Forgot all about that, yo. Get shot. The gun. That you can use bits to shoot other people in the chat with. Don't ever forget it. Sheesh. Mm. 
more tutorials. Can't cycle my deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an expert at this. They really were like, yeah, let's make Chain of Members a GBA game so that kids can play it, and then they made this fucking combat system. Yo, Elixir Pop. With the new tier 1 sub, thank you very much, and I hope you appreciate the emotes. Yeah, have another bullet being fired by Ricky Ding Ding, thank you very much. Simba. Yeah, apparently Simba's good in this. How do you shoot people? Uh, scroll down. You have to use bits. There's a little thingamabobber in the description, or the underneath the Twitch player, whatever it's called, on this website. Well, now I can pause the game. Cool. Quick save. That's not what that does. Okay. When you're getting an obnoxious stream over that takes up 60% of the screen. I've actually... Oh, like, damn. okay, check this shit out, right? I have, I have those. For, um, DS games where I'm forced to do something, but... If I can, I, um, prefer to not have a overlay at all. If it can be helped. Min as minimal as possible is ideal. Oops. What? How can that be? I don't remove. What? Oh, I haven't gotten any more card points, of course. Okay, that'll have to do for now. Goofy tornado. That's a big AoE in this version. Actually useful here, as long as they don't get broken. Which is what the attack cards are for in that slight. What does this do? That's just both of them. Card points, please. New Kingdom Hearts trailers are always so exciting, and also good for business, because, you know, it is very much beneficial for me, for everybody to be excited about Kingdom Hearts at any given time. I appreciate that. It'd be cool if um, Square Enix somehow attached this game to um, a, like a real Kingdom Hearts game, or like a full Kingdom Hearts game. Like, imagine if you could find... Oh god, here's a missed opportunity in KH3, one of many. Imagine if one of the fucking uh, gummy phone games that you could scan was literally just this. Like, the whole game. With like a built-in save state thing. I'll watch you play, but I'm not gonna buy it. You know, that actually makes me... I was... We haven't had that conversation yet of, um... What the fuck is streaming Kingdom Hearts 4 gonna be like on launch around here? How are we gonna do that? How are we gonna handle that? Am I going to... 
Oh, am I gonna do sub only chat? Emote only sub only chat or something crazy? Yeah, we, he says. Yeah, more like me. I will make a decision and we'll stick to it. Sub only. Yeah, but do I want, do I even want the subs to talk? That's the, that's the question. Do I even want to listen to any of you guys while I do my first playthrough of Cage 4? Two months sub only would probably be good. VIP and mod only. The rewards will be off 100%. Those are not going to be on. Turn off bit donations too. Also smart. No alerts at all. No fu not, not even a fucking resub thing will be there. I think. I don't want any noises when I'm playing that game for the first time. Yeah, if it's on launch, spoiler shouldn't be a problem either. Yeah, sub only. Two months required. Just emotes because I don't want to have to read the bullshit either. Probably true. Got about five years to plan. I think you're going to be jump scared by the release date of Cage 4. I think we all are. It's going to come out next year. Betting after FF16, but before FF7R2. Hmm. Yeah, there's spoiling and there's backseating that I don't want to see or like hear about. Maybe um, maybe sub only with the extra premise of "Don't ever talk to me" for those streams. Either that or emote only. They won't listen, probably true. Even the subs. Emote only is probably the best way of going about it. You really gotta pull all the fucking stops, I think. Just don't look at chat. Ah, uh, see, that's like, uh, I don't know how I feel about not looking at chat. That's... I don't know. We'll figure it out. If it's emote only, it's the same as not looking true, except I also get to see... They get to see who I'm hanging out with. That's the thing. That's why I like streaming, is I get to see who the fuck is, like, hanging out with me. You know, being a streamer is like you're hanging out playing video games with a bunch of people, except you never have to give them a turn. That's the best part about being a streamer. I want to at least see who's fucking in my room, you know? Like, my metaphorical room. Yeah, and of course I wouldn't have, ironically, I wouldn't have as many viewers because people are all playing Kingdom Hearts 4 and not watching me play it because they want to play it for themselves. But, you know, you never know who can't play the game or is hesitant or doesn't really care about spoilers. So, I mean, it's still worth streaming. So we'll play it by ear when, when the time comes. And you know, yeah, there actually is going to be a pretty sizable amount of people that aren't going to have those consoles by then still. If it's going to be new gen only. Next gen. So, I mean, I'm happy to accommodate. It'll probably be emote only. I want to pull all the stops. I want that playthrough to be like... I was almost even considering playing it offline. Just because of, like, first playthrough experiences and whatnot, but... Doing it online, just with this, uh, emote-only chat that, you know, I can, like, see, but, like, nobody has to talk to- I don't have to deal with anybody talking to me while I play the game for the first time. 
I think would be um, a good way of going about it. That's for the. That's how, that's most likely how I'll do it. Record it for an LP. See, at that point, I'd might as well stream it. Streaming actually helps me get through games quicker because I'm doing it on a regimen. Six hours a day starting at the same time. I, I like to get through games by doing that. If I did emote only mode, I would ban any emote that um, resembles a letter as well. Like the the vote yes and the vote no emotes and all of those fucking emoji letters. You actually can't... Those don't count as emote only. Those emojis don't count as emotes. You can't type those in um, emote only mode. In fact, put it in emote only mode now and try. Just try. You can't even type BTDV emotes. Mods can talk. They don't. Yeah, that's swell. Yeah, you can take it off emote only mode. But while you're there, might as well ban vote yes and vote no, because nobody ever uses them anyways. Let's go. It's gonna be a very different fight from Vanilla, or Recon rather. All these fights are very different when there's a big boss. Maybe I should, I'm, I'm gonna save up for Goofy Tornado. How do I unstock my shit? Uh, I guess not by doing that. Oh, I just wasted all those cards. Oops. Yeah. Oh, fuck. My cards suck, what the hell? Oh, give me a card, let's go. Triple. Oh, I thought I had three goofies. Can you unstock? You can't unstock in GBA? Wow. That's kind of crazy. You don't know. I guess I'll just hold on to this until I need it. See, like, the way you unstock on Recom is you just hold the buttons you press to stock. So it's like, I was expecting you to be able to do that here, just hold L and R for some time. I guess you can't do that here, too. I Dodge rolling doesn't seem all too good for iframes, especially because you can't press it in time. I think it's just better for distance. Wow, that was that's exactly what I needed there. Thanks. Sliding dash. Not old. Nice whiff. Nerd emoji. Swag. 
I remember hearing a tidbit about this game where, um, if you stand here forever, it takes like an hour for these things to despawn. The EXP orbs in this game. Oh, somebody could have just said that. Get on. Yeah, no fluoride stare. Smile from Sora. This version after getting enemy cards. Man, this is a game. They Square Enix was really like, oh yeah, let's remake this like right away. Like they made this in like 2003, and then they were like, yeah, let's let's remake it in 3D in like 2007. Days, however, is still somehow in hell. How can that be? I guess the cutoff is being in 3D, regardless of how shitty it looks and feels. Awful pun. Die. Timed up for 13 seconds. Sheesh. Speaking of days, what makes you prefer it's magic over cage threes, if you don't mind me asking? Oh yeah, that was the hot take from me the other day. Um, cage three magic is just like pick an element and just start firing. Arrow has a little bit of crowd control on it, but I mean you can't physical combo into the arrow because of the fucking stupid trampoline that they put in it. Thunder has some weird jolt stats effect that people try to insist is very important, actually. That's not. Um, fire is just fast projectile. Blizzard is slow projectile with a little freeze. I don't know, the magic in that game is not very substantial. Days, on the other hand, you do a thunder that stacks against the wall like eight times and like takes two health bars off of an enemy. Or um, every, every particular... Every spell is different and every tier of every spell is different from the other the other spells in that tier. Like, um, Thunder is different from Thundara. It's not just an upgrade, it's different. Sometimes the upgrades are worse than, like, basic fire is better than, um, I think Fyra is better than fire, but Faraga is not better than Fyra. Spells in that game actually are good for utility. Kate's 3 is just basically damage and nothing interesting. That's the whole concept. Yeah, Fyra can't track. Fire tracks, but Fyra is stronger, faster, but doesn't track. I think it also burns more. Why does everything in days have more than two health bars in mid-game? I think they expect you to um, use magic a lot. That game has some balancing issues. They They throw too many health bars at you for physical combos to be worth it. So they expect you to do magic build for like the entirety of the game until you start to get critical gear keyblades, which happens too late. Critical gear keyblades will actually take down health bars huge, especially if you stack um, crit units to make your keyblade crit more. I don't know exactly which day of the day's stream it was that we got that keyblade, but it was pretty late game, but it did so much fucking damage when it critted, it was like actually insane. Yeah, Crit Kingdom Key Plus, but that's like end game. Yeah, it's not even end game, it's post game. That is true. I'm just still surprised that they are announcing Kingdom Hearts 4 right off the bat and not easing into it with a, a remake or a mid-sequel. That, that really got me off guard, but probably for the best. There he is, the first Axel appearance. Ooh. 
I will never accept that Melody of Memories is the mid-sequel. It's a good meme, but... Melody of Memories... The one hour of cutscenes, the, the the twenty minutes of cutscenes that the game has is basically remind cutscenes, more or less. Because they literally just cage three graphics and then they just recorded it and put it onto the disc. Committed to memory. The original translation. Oh god. Oh shit, I'm getting juggled! Fuck! Oh my god, what the hell? Oh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. These voice actors are literally just Square Enix, uh, like, programmers. Just doing some grunts. From what I've heard. Okay, can I please get a- okay. Oh, I got him reloading. I got him reloading. That's how you know you got them, is if they're reloading. And you're comboing them, they can't do shit. That's probably not threatening to get hit by, but, uh, like, I've got the zero for it. Oh, I got them reloading. Play your pathetic card. Oh. Nice. I want to kill him with slide dash. Not. What are, where's Thigh Dash? Oh my god. My cards. I'm trying not to kill him until it's time to go. Please do Firewall so I can immediately break it. There we go. Now I can kill him with a Slide Dash. Or even better yet, a Goofy, perhaps. I don't have a Goofy. Why would I? There we go. I just want to whiff. Let's go. Oh, come on. Sora. We're doing it again. You. You. Told your boy to. What am I saying? Oh, my. Please kill. There we go. Fucking A. It's very easy to whiff your slights in this. They don't auto track. Everything auto tracks in fucking recom, so it's easy to hit. But in this game, you can just miss everything if you're not aiming. Cool. You can angle it. How? Like on a diagonal? I should put KH4 in the title for, like, every stream for the next, like, week and a half. Even if I'm playing KH1 Rando or something. KH4 discussion? <laughs> That's a good one. I'll do that. You think Keyblade Morph should be the new gimmick for 4 instead of form changes? Absolutely, that's what Build is. At least that's the Japanese name for it. I'm sure that there'll be something more precise in English that won't be Build, like Fortnite. Yeah, I'm glad that build. I'm, I'm just gonna call it that until it's called something else. I'm glad that build is um, it's basically like lingering well or Master Zane or Keyblade morphing. Finally, as a mechanic, I hope that that's a major mechanic. So 
so that move sets can be expanded. I just wonder though if that game is going to um, have physics in it, satisfying air physics that make uh, hitting things in the air fun, or if they're still going to commit to having Dragon Ball Z ground combos in midair. Maybe they've settled on that being an acceptable format for um, the game. Because it worked well for them in Rewind. Do not have coping about nano saga physics. Yeah, that's um, that's true. Remind made air combos feel good again. What air combos? I thought they're just ground combos in midair. That's the thing. You can't even really call them air combos because, like, you know, they don't um, they they don't feel bad like they did in BBS, like explicitly bad where they whiff and they feel like shit, but. They're not even air combos in the traditional sense. It's just you do the same combo sequence with a different finisher in midair, and you don't lose any height. So calling it an air combo is a stretch already, which is interesting to think about. It definitely doesn't feel shitty, though. That's a huge improvement. Like, for all the shit that I talk about, KH3 and all that, and so on and so forth, there still is, Cage 3 is still a massive leap in quality from Dream Drop Distance. Where do we go first? We go um, to Monster to get High Jump, right? Just for convenience for everything else. I think we do. I'm going. There's no High Jump? Or Glide? Oh, okay, well I guess we're here now. I'm skipping this. Yeah, even BBS to DDD is a pretty big leap in quality. BBS felt very broken. DDD made a lot of interactions a lot smoother. Going from Cage 3 Remind quality to applying that to the entire rest of the game is promising. I did no damage with hell. Holy shit, that card break animation where the whole screen gets pixelated is a bit much. I'll go heavy on the card points until things start to get difficult. I think Osaka team has the potential to like make something, make fun mob fights. It's just they didn't have the space to do it in KH3 for whatever reason. Yeah, this is a very quality game. GBA com. And it's 60 FPS. A lot of Game Boy games were, weren't they? I hope it's not Cage 3 too. Yeah, same. I um, I want drastic changes to at least just like make the game more involved when I'm fighting mobs. You know, the game doesn't feel very involved. I just kind of do AOE, wild flinging stuff, and big magic, and that's like, that's it. Yeah, I know 60 FPS was common for uh, GBA games. I got fire. Not as good as it is in uh, Recom, but still I got it. I got two of them. Do I get fire rate in this world? Oh, fuck. Okay.
Can I reverse card scrolling in this version? You can't? Okay, well, I'm kind of used to it already, so... Just because it's such a different version. If it were Recom, then I would be clamoring to change the, um... Change the controls, but this version feels very different, so I don't mind it. If I remap the buttons, it'll make the main menu very hard to navigate, so I don't want to do that. Man, Cage 4, how exciting. And just at the end of the day, if I have one word for how I feel, like I'm definitely feeling excited. It is very outlandish. Kingdom Hearts is going to be looking like all that, and I, I'm, here, I'm here for it. It's got tech demo vibes, because that's essentially what it is, but... That is... A very strong start. He's referring back to his I'm back commenting self. I mean, I like being happy and excited about things. I don't like to be the shit on KH3 always negative guy. I don't like to do that 24-7. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm here for a good time. It's just I'm, I'm honest with how I feel about previous entries. It's fucking goopy-ass penis music. I can't wait to get Strike Raid. Where, where do I get that? Should I have gone to Olympus for that? This light? Or did I get it on a level up? I don't remember. Pretty sure you get it from Room to Rewards. Not Room to Rewards, but like Bounty Chests. Monstro Bounty Room? Okay, that's one of many raids. Stun Impact. Ew. Please, lighter. Thank you. Oops, that was supposed to be a 5, whatever. These rooms are nice and small, nobody moves around, and, uh... Nice. Oh, that's room to rewards, fuck. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could get a, um, elemental card for extra damage, that's, um... Try and farm these guys. Element boosts are good. These guys don't seem to go underground in this game, do they? Oh, I just saw one underground, never mind. He's very much under the fucking ground, as they do. I should be using Sliding Dash, it's actually quite good for this. Oh my god, yeah, wow. Sliding Dash is actually kind of good. That should be hidden. That's not, whatever. I gotta rearrange my cards so that every set of three is within 15, or under 15. Oh cool. Yeah, it'd be cool if Square Enix hashtag released the Nomura cut. I've seen that hashtag before, it's kind of funny. Oh. What does Fyra do? Is it bigger? Yeah, I saw the perfumes for Axel and Shion and whatnot. That's um not the first time they've done it actually. Yeah, I just reversal my slide dash. 
that what happened there? Crazy to be playing fucking GBA com after seeing KH4, just looking at the fucking graphics in that game, and getting whiplashed back to this. What a contrast. Damn, you can't hit them in the head like KH4. Yeah, where's the Zigbar? Where's the Zigbar perfume that smells like secondhand smoke? I know some users in this chat that would enjoy having that product. Oh fuck, I walked into shit. Just stepped in shit. I have this. I forgot. Still have a white attack on. One spray of Axel body sprays and equivalent to Axe. Axe, Axel. Pretty true. Oh, that did not hit anything. I gotta aim these. Yeah, no air magic. I've tried that a couple times and didn't go through. I really want to get strike raids. So that would change everything. I guess we'll get fire dash here, though. I got a chest last encounter, didn't I? I have to be excited about Kingdom Hearts. It's been a long time since I felt this feeling. Even if it isn't Days remake like I've been fucking memeing about for months. How do you rank the magic system across the cage games? Which ones did it best? I think... Cross between KH1 and KH2. And then honorable mention to Days, although a lot of the... A lot of the spells in Days are kind of useless outside of a co-op perspective. But, um... KH1 probably did it the best. Amongst many other categories of doing things the best, KH1 magic is um, the best implementation. With jump canceling. If if land canceling didn't exist, it wouldn't be so good, but it does, and it's intentional. Cure is a little overpowered in that game, but it bounces out for all the crazy ass shit that you can't be expected to block, like uh, Final Anthem flying fights and whatnot. That's the fucking. Where am I going in this world? Oh, I forgot. This game doesn't tell you, um. Let's try one of these. Yeah. Forgot. I don't know if the music is too loud, or if the game is too loud. I'm, I can understand this getting, um, grading, so I could turn it down. I'm sure it's not loud, but if it want, if people want it to be quieter, so it's not so fucking not there. Can I spoil it in this game? Yeah, sure, okay. I wanna know all the good shit and all the tech and the good slights. Just don't be annoying. That's the that's the catch. Yeah, let me put it on those raids. Well, I used to have the fires on my deck. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is where the boss is. I know raids are really good if you uh, throw them at the sweet spot. Is it like multi hits? I 
Hey, a little further than that, right? Holy shit, I'm taking damage, damage. This fight's a little weird because I'm moving around. Somebody asked me what gaslighting and Stockholm Syndrome is. Oh, no. I think I'm not gonna have any fires now because I used them already, right? Yeah, fuck. Okay, well. Good for mob fights. Yeah, I've got them. I'll probably put them in the top of my deck so that I can more easily spam them. Oh. It's canceling my moves. He just broke my potion. Oh god. Oh fuck. Okay. Two. In quantum mechanics. Oh, I've got a Moogle. I should probably try buying. Oh my god, Sora. Today this is awful. Talk about the Dunning Kruger effect. I still my curry I do. The fucking poison on the ground is like canceling my cards without even a like, card breaking. Gotta do air combos. Hey, look at that, what the hell? It sucks, okay. Okay, dude. Coming here first might not have been the play, but. This is sustainable, as long as I don't slight my cure card. Please give me a card. Thank you. Can I get like 10 more of those per second, please? Where'd my goofy card go? Why did I not just pick that up? What the hell? Okay. Nice. Bro, that shit doesn't last long at all. Come on, man. Oh my god, I can't move. You know what? Wow, that was a fucking zero at the end that fucked up the whole combo. Sora is like, you're point blank and you're still not fucking hitting him. You really have to position yourself properly in this game or else shit just does not connect. This game is not helping you out. Not one bit. Nice. Yeah, what good are these fucking shoes if they're not gonna protect me from this shit? No wonder he ditched them in Quadratum, finally. God. Why do you have so many sevens? Right. Okay, well, he did. Wow. You can do that? Like, I literally just broke his fucking seven and he just slapped me in the ass with an eight. Come on, man. Oh my god. This is toxic for my health. Goofy. God, that goes in a straight line and it does not course correct. What was that? Four frames of fucking animation there to hit me with that move. Wow, that was jank. Okay. No way you're breaking this. We got him dead to rights now. There goes my Donald because I got staggered. That's a little fucking whack. Alright. The battle of attrition here. Alright, you know what? At least they let you do two card stock slides. 
Yeah, these big boss fights are pretty shitty in this version. Not much you can do about it. Okay, got it. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Just the fact that the acid can card break you without any cards is kind of ridiculous. Like, the damage is already one thing, but the stagger is another thing. Sheesh. Yeah, toxic fight, quite literally. That wasn't too bad, though. Just a little annoying. Give me the loot! Give me the loot! Oh, fuck. Pots. Barrel pots, or whatever they're called, go to hell. Before they die. Did you know that? Oh, I should be raiding. Sheesh! Oh, that's the juice right there. Crunchy. You're used to seeing that, because you're going to be seeing that all play through long. Yeah, that's that good shit. I rearrange these. I'll put the blizzard up there once I get blizzard raid. I'll get that in oblivion. Oh, oblivion. Oh, Olympus. Where do I get vanilla strike raid? Like, non elemental physical strike raid. Where do I get that? Hey, new card. Yeah, I've got a Moogle Room card, but I'm holding on to it until I get, um... Should I use it now? Should I use the Moogle card now, or do I wait until I get more spells? I think Fire and Blizzard are, like, the best spells. Maybe I just use it now. While those are the only, uh, cards in effect. But yeah, or another Cure. Yeah, let's do that now before more spells get added to the pool. That would be better. Establishment. Pretty good. But I'm here for magic. I only have. Oh, I don't even have enough. Why did I use it? Oops. I won't be using these save states. I don't want to fuck around with that. I should have looked at my Moogle points before I spent this card. Oh well. I'm sure I'll be getting more of these. See if I can't find any um, thing mabobbers that drop red orbs. Not many in this world. Okay, well, that's, that's an L. But at least I got the cards. Yeah, if you're a god and you have a really good deck, you don't even need to really upgrade your health. I'm not all too worried about optimizing my cards. What's up, Key to Truth? Oh, here's some thing, my bobbers. Got the fucking red orbs bounce all over the place, you can't get them. Oh, come on, man. Night boss says add. Do we do it? Do we listen? We pressed it, like, not too long ago, when we switched games. Ads are fucking not good revenue streams. Oh, I almost escaped by accident. Hold on. Yeah, you gotta catch uh, the large body, especially the large bodies, you gotta catch them right at the tip of the strike rate so they get hit, like, four times. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Listen to that. That's so good. But I can't kill these guys with them. Oh nice. I missed some EXP there though. Fuck. Oh, 
Oops. I can't kill these guys with any fucking spells. I hate them. Hey, you want to test that ad blocker? Let's see if it works. Let me know if it works. Hey, I can't even press the button. It give me an error. What the fuck? Never mind. The button didn't work. On my stream deck. Get absolutely demolished. You got a little too cocky. Like you could go or for the bits. Yeah, that's more like it. Not gonna fucking not gonna sub with ad block or at least get shot. I appreciate that. Time for this weird fight. Oh, that's the juice right there. Holy fuck! But I'm a lot of fires now. I gotta hit him with a chunky slide dash now. How the fuck do I even do this? Look, the meter just went down. How do I keep the meter up? Maybe I don't do it with slides, maybe I just do it with basic hits? What how? We'll see. How do we do this? The fucking Monstro style style meter over here. I think we just get hits in. That might be better than big slides. Yeah, seems good. Oh, you know I should have wide attack. That'll help a lot here. Oh yeah, look at that, holy fuck. Yeah, they just use one so I can just like spam basic shit. That's all that I need to do here. Oops, Goofy, I need to top it off. He's gonna get broken, fuck. Oh boy, oh boy, uh, the meter. So close to triple S, come on. Is that not enough? That's probably the last one. There we go. Dumbo. That's more like it. Yo, Kivas with the gifted sub to K-Blade Hero. The man who loves to beg for subs. Enjoy your sub. Make it count. I guess it helps me if you beg for subs because you're gonna make somebody else a gift to them, and I'm 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 begging for people to sub anyway, so works all the same. Why am I watching this cutscene? The thing that would be even funnier for people to do instead of um, gifting subs to people who are begging, it'd be, it'd be very funny if people get shot with uh, bits for asking. That'd be a pretty good uh, counterattack. Maybe even both things could happen. That'd be very funny. How many card points do I have now? I've got 40 extra points. Nice. Do I have any more fires? I do. These are already in my deck. Yo! <laughs> Ricky Ding Ding. With the 60 seconds. And the light affects her with the 60 seconds as well. Ooh, just the perfect amount. Hit the deck! Got some JFK all action going on in this chat. 
Ups. Can I rearrange these? Okay, there we go. I forgot what menu I was allowed to do that on. Can I shortcut? No, this game does not have shortcuts in it. No way. Yo, Ricky Dingling with another 60 seconds. Thank you very much. Thank you everybody today for all the generosity and all the, the, the interest and the hype. You guys know I'm not a React Andy who's gonna post to their Kingdom Hearts 4 reaction pog champ thumbnail on, on YouTube and all. That's not the kind of way that I go about things, but I appreciate all the interest regardless. JP Blazer with the self shot for 60 seconds. Thank you very much. I am gonna be posting. I wanna. I wanna make some kind of a highlight cut out of the discussion that we had today for the trailer. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of uh, thoughts on the trailer after watching it like seven times this morning. The Cage Four discussion experience. Yo, Ricky Ding Ding with a fucking 300 second mole. Holy moly. Is it showing up on screen? Like the text that says that people are getting shot? Or is it just the sound? Oh, there it is. Kingdom Hearts. I couldn't see it. Is your kingdom? Because time. <clears throat> he doesn't have the heart. Yo, keep this with the 60 seconds. Run. Thank you very much. Sugar free to accelerate the is healing your of his biology Think about while it. eating his own damaged flesh and blood to greet the growth hormones that are required seals. to raise a king's dome so he can have wisdom. Yeah, if you don't believe in subs and giving um, giving Amazon and Twitch money, use Twitch Prime. You got Twitch Prime next to your badge on. If you can. Yo, light effects are with the 60 seconds. Thank you very much. If you have Amazon Prime, you can get a free sub every month, and it doesn't cost you anything because you're already paying for, you know, you're paying for the sub, but you're not using it. Could you imagine doing that? I don't feel obligated to sub. I know we meme a lot about it, but... I appreciate all the support regardless. Always appreciated, but never expected. Your Amazon Prime, though, yeah, I expect that. And it over. Goofy always with the optimism there. Peak Goofy wisdom? Yeah, he's kind of spitting. How do I use the Prime sub? Well, the first thing you have to do is you have to link your Amazon Prime with your Twitch. I'm not 100% on how to do that, but, um... If you have it, you should get the option for it when you press the sub button. It should say, use Prime. There's a little thingamabobber you can select so that you can use it instead of subtracting it from, like, a card or something. Alright, where do you go next? Olympus for... Glizzy Raid? Yeah, and Cloud. Cloud is 
cracked in this, isn't he? Cloud Slight? Oh, they do have it, don't they? Oh my god, my fucking ears. Oh, huge orbs. Oh no, oh no. Fucking orbs. Give me this. Stop running around. Stop despawning. Why do they fucking despawn? Oops. I didn't see these power world spawners, so I would have saved the raid for those guys. That was a good dash, though. Dude, they really do have it. Jesus Christ. Two in a row. Fuck. Wow, they have it. Alright, we're gonna get all the fucking loud ones out of the way. Jesus. You're really trying to get me. Oh, fuck. My controller. Okay. I was tabbed out for a second there. Oh, the large body. I didn't even see him spawning. Good timing. I'll get him. Nice. What map are you looking at here? Cool. Oh, cure. Let's go. A seven. That's huge. I don't have that Moogle card anymore. Oh, I've got one of those though. How many points do I have? Two off? Okay, once I get 200, I will, um. Fuck, I'll just use it here, and if I don't have it, I'll come back to it. I'm gonna pick a random letter in the first person to pop up gets shot. I like your style. Oh, I can just sell a card as well. I forgot about selling cards. Yo, Olympia card. I think I can do this. There we go. Ugh. Not what I wanted to see. But I guess the blizzards are- that blizzard will help for blizzard raid and two Simbos for level 3 Simbos. Is level 3 Simba good? And another 7 cure, I'll take that. The 7 seals I don't have this, do I? At least I'll open it up. The seven seal. That's when we walk up to a door with a seven at it. Yo, Ali Avocado with a 300 seconds. Thank you very much. That's a long time. Oops. Here we go. Let it rip. Nice. Roxas, the money. Oh, hold on. Only BCI enjoy your content. Yo, it's Groovy Quinn with the five dollars. Thank you very much. I don't often get direct donations here, but I appreciate those. I actually get a better cut for those than bits. I like that. I like that people who use bits get rewards out of it, like emotes and shit. But I appreciate the direct donations as well. Thank you very much. Makes it possible for me to continue doing what I do. Hey, another decent number of kingdom key. Yeah, uh, timeout with bits does contribute to towards uh, getting bit emotes. 
we uh, tested that when we first added that feature, and it did very much so count. Oh, we need to get another one of those um, room to rewards. We might not be able to get one of those for a minute. This version does not have any um, roulette rooms, so we have to get lucky with those, don't we? I don't have any right now. Yeah, it's interesting that gravity and stop rate are in this too. Are they good? They seem a little weird. Oh, that's the sweet spot right there for large bodies. Yo, Moogle. I linked to a sign giving me the option. It might take time. It might take a minute. I don't know how long it takes, but it might. Thank you, though, for doing all that. Oh, teeming darkness. Oh, boy. Got jumped in fucking Detroit. Can't have shit in teeming darkness rooms. Oh, but we got this particular encounter figured out. Oh yeah, and a chest. Let's go. This is the same as the room in Recom where yeah, this is based this is teeming darkness from Recom as well. Same fucking thing where the enemies are hyper aggro and always spawn in at like Double the rate. Fucking scary. And very scary in 3D when you have large bodies running towards you at double speed. I need more fires. That's like... Until I get um, Blizzard Raid, which is right around the corner, I'd love to have more fires too. Just as many raids as possible would be swell. Oh yeah, I never thought about how Power Wilds are here because there's no fucking deep jungle. They had to put them somewhere, didn't they? Yeah, it's funny how they swept the deep jungle under the rug entirely in this world. And they got lucky, too, because getting rid of Deep Jungle made it have 13 floors. So it was a win-win. Oh, there's Vanilla Strike Raid. Okay. High values, though, but I'll, I will, um... I will set that up. As many strike rates as possible. That's the name of the game. On GBA com. Enemy cards go to the bottom. Oh, actually made me jump. Yo, Ali Avocado with this another 60 seconds. Thank you very much. Thank you everybody for the generosity today. I've said it a bunch, but I feel the need to reiterate. Uh, I'm over my card limit. Oops. I'm gonna take off uh, guard armor. Now that I have a shitload of raids. There we go. Paying off the 30 series GPU. Yeah, that was definitely an L I did take, but it was worth it. Is Com 100 Acre Wood dethrone K2 for worst 100 Acre Wood? No, actually. Com 100 Acre Wood owns, because all you do is you walk around and you get Moogle points. They just spawn out of the ground. Might be one of the best 100 Acre Woods, actually, because all you do is you just hang out with Blink the Pooh and you get money. How can What can be better? Just guys being dudes. I shouldn't spend those cards on doors. Oops. This is a cloud fight, isn't it? Oh boy.
Oh no, okay, we're safe. It's not yet. Oh! Seven Olympia just out of nowhere. That's swell. Oh fuck. So good. Raids in this version are just juiced beyond belief. Oh yeah, and I have standard raid too. Let's go. That's not standard raid. They have to be three of the same type? I didn't read that part of it. That stun impact is it good. <laughs> Broke ass stun impact. Ali with another 60 seconds, thank you very much for your patronage. We had to dust off the gun, hadn't did not was not getting a lot of uses lately. Brutal. In October we'll do a half price off on the gun. And we're gonna change the sound to the Bloodborne Hunter's pistol and it'll be half off in October's. Guntober, yeah, more or less. Oh, I never got that um chest card. I'll do that here. Or I'll do it here. Beasts all over the shop. Oh fuck. Glocktober? Oh yeah, that's better. It just won't be a Glock, it'll be the hunter's pistol. It's close enough. You can, like, push enemies in this game. That's goofy. No, oh, they're still coming. What the hell? Oh. Oh, yeah, and Striker, it still stuns. That's nice. Yeah, when Bloodborne, I'll, I'll stream Bloodborne when it comes out in a 60 FPS re-release. Until then, though, it's, um, that game is a collective illusion that we've all agreed is a video game. I'm gonna save up for another, um, let me sell my summons real quick. And this fucking platinum card, fuck platinum cards. And that two potion, forget about it. Keep the Simbas though. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys hang out with the Moogle. I need a minute to kind of relax my back and uh, grab a drink. I'll be right back. Here's my gas can. My brother Josh blew himself up and his two kids. Kingdom Hearts. 
Is your king dumb? Because <clears throat> he doesn't have the heart to go on a run sugar free to accelerate the healing. Somebody of his asked biology. me what gaslighting well, in Stockholm is. His own is. damaged flesh and blood to greet their my gas can. that are required Brother Josh to raise a king himself up so he can have wisdom. And his two dumb. kids. Okay, I'm back. I'll find the um, original cat video t rectodactyl where do I find this here it is this is a good meme Display capture, there it is. A dinosaur. What's the beast to a dinosaur, nigga? Pterodactyl mixed with a T Rex. T Rex to <laughs> T Rex to Bruh, bruh. The music that I play over it in the, my reward is a. Uh, one of the in-game versions of a Digital Devil Saga theme. Build theme. Just look up T-Rectodactyl Cat on YouTube or something, you'll find it. Oh, I never got my, um... My bounty, did I? Kinda need that. Come on, man. Do I have any doors so I can do this? Whatever, I'll do it later. My deck is all set up and ready to go. Any games you plan to play casually after the KH Fiesta? Um, after French KH2. I'm gonna be playing um, the SMT Rido games. I also have a bunch of variety games just planned for any time this year. Like, I want to play um, Spider Man 2. And not the PS4 version, no, the, um, the 6th gen Spider-Man 2. So, technically the GameCube version, because it emulates best. If you 
The one with the, the, the pizza minigame. You know, the best one. Dr. Connor's class. Yeah, that one. That's the best game. Oh, yeah, Clouds. He's here and he's trying to kill people. I'm gonna kill him. Oh! The multi hit. I even caught him on the jump. Wow. Oh, fuck. Immaculate spacing all. That makes up for it. A five hit striker, right, let's go. Stimulus package. Oh, he's swinging, fuck. They give you a lot of time to react though because of the hit stop. So you can like cycle through your deck during hit stop. That's sliding dash on strike rate, right, idiot. Oh. Come on, man. Whatever. Wow, he did not hesitate to break that. Oh boy. I'll take it. Although, if you're during hit stop, your fucking cycling is limited, but it gives you extra time to think, I guess. That matters. Triple down. He's gonna miss. Huge heal, though. Oh! What the fuck? How much damage was that? I didn't think it was that close to death. Okay. Cloud just got evaporated, quite literally. Ultra Instinct Donald. Yeouch! That's what Cloud just said. Cartoon. Yeouch! Sound effect. ATP gunned down in the streets. Goddamn right. This version is fun. It's very basic, but it's fun. It hits. Within the... Oh, another cure. Uh, within this game's... Um, limitations, it's fun. It plays well within the limitations. How long are you planning going for tonight? Um, Until midnight in my time zone, so another hour and a half. I try not to stream too much past midnight, regardless of when I start. Yeah, this fucking these orbs move around too much, and you gotta dodge enemies. I'm teaming darkness. Yeah, if Cage Four doesn't have Final Fantasy characters, then they're dropping the ball pretty hard. Dropping the ball, is that the right word for that? Fumbling the bag? Is that the same phrase? Final Fantasy characters are kind of a non-negotiable in Kingdom Hearts because, like, especially the ones that were in KH1 and KH2, they were basically introduced as if they were original characters. So not having them is like... Not having them in KH3 is like characters just vanished from the fucking plot, basically. You know? Can't be doing that. It'd be crazy if Noctis ended up actually being in, like, Noctis himself. Like, all this foreplay with fucking Yozora and then Sora looking like Noctis and all these fucking trailer comparisons. All that, and then they actually have Noctis in there. It'd be pretty wild. We were talking about the whole KH4 tweet thing. That doesn't. There, there seem to be um, translation errors that make that uh, Namora thing about KH4 and Veramex not quite so um, dependable. I would take that with um, a grain of salt. Why the hell do we even need Cage Insider to translate all this shit for us on the day of these events? Why the hell is there no, like, localization team like, at the event to, like, properly translate shit? 
What the hell? Why are we like... Why are we waiting... Why are we staying up till 6 a.m. so that we can see the trailer that just played behind closed doors? You know? Why are we still doing this? Why did this practice... Why... Why isn't there some kind of like worldwide event to like... People there to at least fucking sponsor the event and like localize this so that people know what the fuck is going on. What is it, 2005? Why are we do... Why are we still doing this? What are we doing here? Oh, I need to open up the um... While I'm here, I really need to look into getting that, uh... Calm Bounty. Let me get a zero. No zeros? What the fuck? Why is that two? Oh, it's a one if I go in from this angle. Is that what that means? Remake the entry room? Is that free? I'll do that. Oh, well, that's not a fucking box. Hey, when I push them, I'm trying to line up a multi hit. Oh well. Ow. Here, here. If you want one one phrase to describe my overall thoughts on the, the, what was going through my mind when I first saw that KH4 trailer this morning. Just overall, multiple times I said to myself, I cannot fucking believe what I'm seeing here. It was so outlandish and out there. But definitely, like, for me, I like that fucking... I like the hyper-realistic graphics in the city and the... Looking like a Final Fantasy game, that's what I've been waiting for. And of course, we could just be getting trolled, like... You know, there's this there's this image. Some people might some people here might be familiar with it, where it's um, it's showing forum posts about Kingdom Hearts secret endings dating back to 2003, where people were looking at the um, the blonde-haired kid KH1 secret ending and being like, oh, is KH2 gonna be like, is are they gonna be getting away from all the Disney? Are they gonna do this and that and make it really edgy? Are we gonna be getting away from Disney and like? And then it shows, you know, Cage 2 and all its Disney worlds and whatnot, that's what it ended up being. Uh, and then they show, like, the, the next phase of that, they show the Cage 2 secret ending. They show people on the forums talking about, oh, they're going to be getting away from Disney. And then they show, you know, Birth by Sleep, DDD, and all that. And then they show the Cage 3 secret ending in Shibuya and all that. And they show people on Reddit talking about, oh, is the next game going to be, like, are they going to be getting away from the Disney? <laughs> but... I feel... That, I mean, even if there is Disney, it's gonna be fucking like... There's an ATST in that trailer. So, who knows. As much as I, um, am aware... How the fuck do I remake the entry room? This is the entry room, it's a fucking five. Oh, there we go. It's not the entry room, but it's the other one. Yeah, I don't think that they're fully going to be getting away from... Disney and stuff. I don't think that they're going to do, like, a full spin-off that doesn't have any Disney properties in it. This, of course, not going to be the way it is, but... I do think, though, that there is still... The possibility of it being a larger proportion of original content, like, original characters and worlds. And I think that's what we're seeing with Quadratum. And that, and that and that the Disney IPs that will interact with that will be more fitting for that kind of tone, like, you know, hyper-realistic Unreal Engine 5 Star Wars. That could be the that could be the rate, that could be the um the vibe that they're going for. And ideally a 
much larger amount of Final Fantasy crossover. <laughs> Live action remake worlds. That's the that's like the worst case scenario prediction right there. That would be quite something to behold, wouldn't it? I'll leave that zero blizzard down here. I don't, I don't want to stack that in the deck of uh, raids. Wow, Genie, you sure look different. Yeah, you get slapped. Please don't be an enemy. Oh, I shouldn't have even tried. Oops. Not only did I accidentally press that, but I sent it in the wrong direction. Nice. If they do do a bunch of Star Wars stuff, I hope that they don't have like any of the um, like the main characters. I hope it's just like a Star Wars world that is like kind of sort of doing his stuff on his own instead. Oh, here's Han Solo, and we're flying around in the Millennium Falcon. No, that would be a step too far, I think. Stormtrooper enemies, though, and like whatever the fuck we're doing in that world. Air comboing stormtroopers, that'd be cool. Yeah, Vader super boss, Tetsuya Nomura play arts design, uh, Vader. There's a lot of potential there. Been saying that they should do that, and I think it's about time. For those of you who are here when um, we were doing the KH4 trailer discussion, I want to put that on the main YouTube. I just don't know if I should like cut it down and like make it a highlight cut or if I should just put the whole raw discussion on there without any edits. I'm wondering how I should go about that. What would be most watchable? Because it was like... I want to say, let me look at the recording that I got of it. It was an hour and a half. I mean, that included the startup phase, though. Yeah, it was about an hour and a half. I'll, I'll look into it. I kind of have to get it out like ASAP though, so if I do edit it, I'll have to do it quick. Yeah, I'll edit it down. I'll, I'll try and get it down to 30 minutes. But we are like almost constantly like talking about it and like replaying stuff, so I don't know. I'll see what I can do. Probably just cut out the gaps. And whatever bumbling around I was doing, trying to get tabs open and whatnot. I could get down to 30 minutes, or 45 minutes. Where am I? Oh, there it is. Can't believe that wasn't an enemy. <laughs> that music skip. He voids this, doesn't he? Why do you just zero elixir right out the start of the fight? Yeah, he voids that. I gotta use Blizzard Raid. Oh, Sora! Great, great start. I can't get this back now, can I? I almost want to reset because of that. Oh well. I just saved this. He's not gonna sit still, so I don't think I'll be able to get a good uh, raid in on him. I was wrong. 
Oh. I didn't put on those extra cures I got. I probably should have, because I'm about to get reamed. Okay. Oh, I'm going to save up for a level 3 Goofy. I wonder how hard it would be to decompile this game. And then, like, make a PC port out of it. Imagine this in, like, widescreen and, um... With custom content and edits. Are there any ROM hacks for this game? On the topic of, um, all that stuff. Oh, I, ever, I don't have my cure anymore because I used it. Oh. I'm dead. Sheesh. I forgot I used my cure in a slight and it got me killed. I probably have a shitload of extra space on my deck. All those level ups I got. Yeah, a little bit. Replace- okay, yeah, replace the fires with, um... What deck is this? Where are my fires? Oh, wait. What? Where am I? That's not- there's my deck. What the hell was that? Was that my stock? Oh no, I sorted it by... I pressed the sort button. Okay, I got very confused. I was very, very confused there. I'll keep the fire cards there just because I'm too lazy to get rid of them. I'll just make sure to not hit them with it. I'm already over capacity. I'll get rid of the fires. I'm over capacity again. It's expensive. Fuck the Simba. There we go. It's an expensive card. It's a mist. A possum. Somebody made a version with no cards, a Unity browser game. That looks interesting, actually. Send that in the Discord. I want to take a look at that. It might warrant a playthrough. That sounds cool, actually. Oh. Oh. I can't break that, can I? Okay. Let's go. That animation's my opportunity. I don't know why I didn't wait there. of raids, aren't I? Or is elemental raids fuck? I got getting good damage though, I will take that. Oh fuck. He has Berserk, I wonder how heavily that scales up his damage. Oh fuck. Get me out of the corner, how the fuck do I deal with that? In this in 2D. Oh my god, he doesn't ever stop! Holy shit, he's crazy. I went to go watch your VOD. Was it uh, sub only? It's on purpose. I will, um... I, the reason why it's like that is, um... I get better support for... VODs when they're watched on the stream archive, so I'll be uploading it. Any notable stream I will upload onto the stream archive, and, um... And they will be there, inshallah. Just another perk of being a sub. Because I don't know if I get any ad revenue from Twitch VODs. Do Twitch VODs run ads? The stream archive gives me a pretty decent, um... Yo, Infinite Ninja with a Prime Gaming Sub. Enjoy the VODs. Thank you very much. Yeah, one of the benefits of being a sub is you get to, um... You get to watch VODs sooner. Or things that I don't end up highlighting or archiving. They run ads? If they do run ads, I'm not getting any of that fucking shit. 
YouTube actually uh, has my back in that regard. I like virtual card collecting games where I can grind for cards. You you would like uh you would I don't know if you would like or hate Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses, but there's plenty of uh, card grinding where you can collect cards in that. Except in that game, it, it is a slot machine, and it's very hard to get cards on purpose, especially if they're slot rares. We have to get the same three card on all three rows. And that's um something that we've experienced firsthand around here. That's good damage. I should consider running the, um, if I get killed again, I'll, pro I'll probably try running the uh, Parasite Cage card so that it doesn't go berserk. Because his damage gets crazy at this part. Holy shit. I should have gone aggro. I can't, I can't, he's fucking moving around so fast, I can't hit him. Oh my god. Like, he's so, he's big, but he's fucking fast, and he doesn't ever stop. I'm just going ham. I got him. Yeesh. Are your accounts safe? Yeah, they're safe. I heard about that NFT thing. I have two-factor and everything. Is your family missing? Think about it. I made a YouTube edit of every time you make fun of Aladdin's voice crack. Hell yeah. Post it in stream chat. In the Discord if you're in there. Amazing if you concentrate for 30 minutes you can get a shitload of work done. Absolutely, yeah. That's just, that's the hard part right there. A, that's a tall order. I just went over my card on the diet. No, I'm exactly at 500. That's swell. Oh, I need to reorder. Space. What did I get rid of? I got rid of a cure by accident, didn't I? Yeah. Cool. What I learned in boating school is. That's like the best episode of SpongeBob, maybe ever. Stretching. When you summon Aladdin in Cage Two, like um, when you swap him into your party mid combat, uh, he voice cracks on his um, on the line that he says when he spawns in. He says here, here, or something like that. It's really funny. Here. Oh, there she is. Stretch break. I actually took one earlier, but it might be a good idea to just do it in general. You think for the bits? I didn't stretch. I rolled my back out though. Just kind of the same thing. The pixel art is so good. That looks just like arc scene.
The dialogue is... It reads very differently compared to Recom. You don't ever be saying that shit in Recom. You keep running left to right in the bottom, she won't attack you. That's good to know. I'll have to try that. Axel is a male manipulator and assassin in this game, but this game only. He's totally different in every other game that he's in. Yeah, Commit It to Memory is, um, I think that's just a weird translation for Got It Memorized. I think that's the, the whole idea behind that. Oh, oh she tweaking though. On a white girl Wednesday. It's a crazy looking sprite. They don't do that in Recom, do they? Was that a an emulator error? Is it supposed to look differently, like a trend like a transparency or what? It didn't look normal. Alright, where are we dropping? What's the best play here? Wonderland, maybe? Or Agrobo? Agro would be really good in Recon, but not in this. Maybe. If Genie, is Genie Jafar still good? Still good to hit things with, uh... I think it might be still good to do. Yeah, let's go here. GBA screen ghosting was supposed to make the footgear look transparent, so it's a hardware trick then, right? Doesn't look right on, um... On this, like, no matter what. Agrobrew brew is a must. Agrobrew, brew oh, down 420 with the 7 months. Yeah, Agrobrew's good. Especially because Aladdin's, uh, friendship command gives you orbs. Moogle points, rather. Is Reverse Rebirth has no budget in common as it is in Recom? Yeah. yeah. If by no budget you mean it just reuses areas, it's just faster. Probably even more low budget because, you know, look at the game that we're playing right now. Apparently it's really fucking hard. I'm very excited. Reavers Rebirth is always a fun time. Yeah, I have I have my cartridge uh, right on my uh, my desk back there. You got it. <laughs> Here he is. He's gonna slap the heartless. Let's go. If I were a psycho, I'd be doing this stream by pointing a webcam at my GBA. But I wanted to make this actually presentable. <laughs> Get Jasmine's name out your motherfucking mouth. So good. How do you record a GBA? By sticking a camera at it. Or having a very weird capture card system from 2002. Oh. Oh. 
Fuck off for the summons. Yeah, or a DS. Sell that platinum, and nice. Maybe I should also be buying summons so that, um... Amar clouds. Let's try it. Now, these are items. What am I doing? No! Those are items, not fucking summons, you idiot. Oops. Forgot what that was. Alright, well. It's still good, though, to have potions. I could use another one. I don't need three cures. Oh okay. my! I could do two. One less blizzard. Do one of these high potions. Oh, I've still got more space. Put in a cloud. Cloud's not good until you get three clouds, right? So try it. And the fire. Nice. Okay. Oops. That's not what I meant to do at all. That's not what I meant to do oh either. Oh my! Get out of here. You scallywag. Okay, I'll do. No zeros, huh? It's gonna get bad. Just do one of these and grind the room. Where did this game come out in um, America, in Japan? 2005 seems late for Chain of Memories. Or this is the EU we're talking about. Oh, it doesn't drop orbs in this version. Okay, never mind. I missed? You see that missed text on screen? I missed? I can tell my missed. What is this? Stas ailment? What's going on here? Scallywag. Oh! That hit. I was gonna grind this room because it's martial waking. It's good. So good. Are you not dead? Come on, man. You know what? Oh. You know what? Okay, good. You don't bounce off of him. Well, not quite the right spot. There we go. Multi hitting strike rates are so cool. Oh, he, he moves with you. That's actually really good. Nice. 
What's up, for real? Oh, nice. A zero calm bonus is actually exactly what I wanted. Need to reset the count and uh, get a chest. Hey, gravity. Is that good in this game? Imagine Cage with Marvel. You know, it's on the officially possible now, I think. I don't think it'll happen, though. There is a, um... One of the Olympus Cups in the... One of the Hades Cup seeds is called Avengers, and it's like five different... Uh, five different Heartless. With no duplicates in that fight. There's also a seed called Spookies, where it's six Search Ghosts, and I think it's a Soul Hagger's reference. Kingdom Hearts having Marvel characters in it would be groundbreaking. And not necessarily off the table considering that not only is Square Enix buddy buddy with Disney, but they're also buddy buddy with Marvel with the fucking Avengers games that they've been doing. You know, actually, it's gonna happen. I think it's gonna happen. In some some capacity it will happen. Yeah, and Guardians of the Galaxy. And Big Hero 6, too, I guess. The double whammy. Oh, sheesh, yeah, that's gonna happen. That's a lot to think about, isn't it? That's quite something. It could be done well. Spider-Man would own. Spider-Man has Sora energy. Sora has Spider-Man energy. I said what I said. Did you know that every franchise that I interact with revolves around Kingdom Hearts? I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan. It revolves around DBS, that's why we have the counter. That's true. That is true. That is also worth considering. Oh my god, I just got jumped. It's worth waiting until all these enemies spawn. So you don't get robbed of your strike raid. It's so good. Strike raids are so fun. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember that episode of um, The Simpsons where it gets 3D. That shit scared the hell out of me. It was creepy. It was weird. Oop! How the fuck did I end up here? Where am I going? Right there, yeah. I love that they're doubling, they've, not only do they double down on, um, having realistic graphics worlds in Cage, in Kingdom Hearts, like, um, they had Pirates in Cage 2, they doubled down by doing Pirates in Cage 3 and Unreal Engine 4, now they're tripling down by fucking making Quadratum. Their, their main key original world is hyper-realistic. The grid? Yeah, true, the grid as well. And the very impressive display of uh, doing good graphics. 
Yeah, I mean, true. Pirates in case she looks nice, but, um... I need two nines. I need two specific nines. I don't have... Oh, God, here we go. The first card grind begins. Okay. This is... Chain of Memories with no roulette room. Yeah, it would be cool to have the grid in K3, but what... What material do they have to do a third Tron world? Third Tron movie is in development hell. Is it cancelled? Like, officially, or is it still... Hey, bandit card, is that good? They shouldn't have used the grid for DDD. Oh yeah, true. Hey, um, I can get behind that. Save it for KH3. It's in dev limbo, it's never coming out. What does this development hell entail? Like, development hell. Is, or is there any development being done, if like, a tiny little bit of development? Or is it all like, we're just halting the project indefinitely? Because it'd be interesting if development hell, hell entailed, like, oh yeah, they're still working on it, like, very, very slowly, and they don't know what the fuck they're doing. I mean, the studio won't pick it up. Why would they not pick up Tron? Of all things. What's the fucking problem? Yeah, it'd be cool if they, uh... If they literally took Tron in their own hands and they're like, yeah, we're gonna fucking resolve this shit. Tron Legacy flopped? How? That's kind of crazy. It had Daft Punk and everything. Oh, I have so many new cards. Hold on, I gotta upgrade. Stimulus package! That's goddamn right. Oh, I'm over the limit. Fuck. Good start. Oops. That'll do. Oops. What? Oh, five. Oh, yeah, right. Card grinding. Do I have any, um... Calm Bounty, Marshall Wake. Okay, go to Marshall Wake. What if I, um... Do I have... Teeming Darkness? Ah, fuck it. Quora. Quora is, um... Played by, um... I almost said Haley Joel Osment. <laughs> Olivia Wilde, right? That's her. Yeah, Evangelion was also in development hell, but that was because of the fucking... That's because of, um... The creator. And not because of, like, any other financial or studio issues, right? Who's Olivia Wilde? Have you played Dream Job Distance? Shit, Cloud owns. I don't play King Mars games based. Oh. I was wondering how much my SMT audience watches my Kingdom Hearts streams despite. Not playing Kingdom Hearts. Hey, Blitz. Apparently that's good in this version. I've got to keep an eye out for the cards we need. There are no enemies in here. Yeah, SMT viewers are more likely to watch Kingdom Hearts streams than the other way around, it's true. 
Like 100%. It's my first time here. I don't know how Twitch, Twitch works, Cat Jam. <laughs> That's a water lord. Hey, chest. Not a nine. Are you gonna deal with that unbanned request? Maybe. Maybe I'll deny it with a message that says uh, Ligma. Look, if any if any viewer ever ha makes me need to think about reviewing an unbanned request, you've ar you've already consumed too much of my time and energy, so you might as well stay down. That means you fucked up already. When you need to make me do work to deal with you, it means I'm not going to. It's that simple. That was a good strike raid. Like, yeah, think about it. What benefit of the doubt? What, what benefit do I get for giving people who get banned the benefit of the doubt? I just get more things to worry about, and I have to spend time contacting the user and do, doing an unbanned thing. And why would I do any of that? Hey, another enemy card. I didn't look what the enemy, other enemy card was. Reload while in motion. Actually, kind of good. I don't know what the restrictions are on it, though. Make any normal as strong as a finishing blow. Wow, that seems, um... Incredibly fucking good. What is this, zero EXP? From... Cage 1? Okay. Oh, I gotta make space for that. It just double negative, so all it does is make you do finishers. That actually seems good if you have cards that scale the highest off of finishers. I kind of like that. I'll try it at least, but I'm running out of space on a lot of things. That potion isn't really all that good. I'll, uh... Does it do that in Recom as well, where it just gives you double negative combo? Does it have the same effect in Recom? I've never used it. I've never used it in that, that's kind of neat. Hey, fire. Good fire. I need a red 9 and a green 9, and I have neither. Still. Also, these rooms are depleted. That's swell. The red 9 are for room to rewards? Wait, what the fuck am I doing? I didn't even look. What have I been doing? Okay, well, at least I got a bunch of cards. 
Wow. Why did I... Okay, I didn't even look to see what door that was. Wow, good call. Save my ass. I didn't even look. I just saw the requirements and I was like, oh, time to go. It'd be that way sometimes. I haven't had any caffeine all day. You fix your sleep schedule? True. I woke up at 6 p.m. But that's that's only because of fucking Kingdom Hearts. I blame that one on Kingdom Hearts. I blame it on Kingdom Hearts. Oh my fault. This guy better not avoid fire. Okay. I, okay, please. I'm so mad. I'm so fucking mad. Why? Does he void everything? Imagine if that hit him. Could you imagine how cool that would be? Does he void all damage, or is it just elements? Oh. That would have been awesome. It's just him. Stop moving the camera. Oh. It's actually a good fight for um, this double negative combo setup thing. Only lasts for one reload though, so that was not the time to pop it, evidently. This fight works pretty well in 2D, except for the camera. Oh. And I, the fact that I can't make this fucking jump. Okay, well. Like, why... Like, I know, the dude's grabbing the whatever... thing my bobber. I can't get up there. Alright, activate. Why does he guard that? That's not... That's not normal. You shouldn't do that. Imagine the damage that that would deal. be a good time to have Omni Slash. Oh. Hazel E shit. Whatever. Just face tank that. Oh. What are we doing here? I forgot that there's a y-axis, my bad. They were just forget about the y-axis. Okay. I wish Halo Infinite wasn't bad. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty true. Halo Infinite kind of trash. Because, um, it has been... Like five months, and it still has the exact same amount of content as the last time I played it, which was in January. Fucking embarrassing. Dog shit devs. Contracted devs that aren't even working at 343 anymore, who made the fucking four maps that that game has. Very funny. This game doesn't have a lock on button, does it? No. Halo devs don't deserve to eat food, I think. Ironic, with all the fucking pizza that Reddit sent them. They don't deserve to eat. That's just how it is. Oh my fucking god. I actually have not been able to deal damage this fucking like five years. 
I did not think I'd be able to reach from down there. Oh. Please give me a gimmick card. Please am I getting that card? Reddit set pizzas over um, MCC on PC, right? That ended up being a good product, and it's actually getting updated more often than fucking Halo Infinite, if you can believe it or not. Also, Halo 3 having better netcode at 60 FPS and above. Better netcode than fucking Halo Infinite? Now that's a, a fucking achievement in the half right there. Javar. Halo Infinite had a strong start. It just had two little maps on launch and still has that many maps. Yeah, 343 is dog shit. It's just... Imagine the Tokyo team versus Osaka dilemma, but like ten times worse. And then like... Even worse on the fan base side of things, because like half the fan base are just nostalgia blinded redditors that don't care either way. Like every time I go into the, like every now and then I'll boot up R slash Halo just to kind of like enjoy people being mad. And sometimes I just won't see any posts about the lack of maps at any given time, and I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? You guys just all give up? You guys talking about the fucking TV show now? What the hell? What's wrong with you guys? You guys just give up? Where's your anger? You should be posting about this every fucking day. It should be- this subreddit should be unusable. What the hell? It's hilarious that a game from 2005, a game that had a 1 to 2 development cycle had more maps from a live service game in 2022. Crazy how that works. Talking about when Ratchet and Clank had multiplayer for a while. Oh yeah, Ratchet and Clank multiplayer. There's actually a funny story there. Thank you for the best cast, Jack. Um, Ratchet and Clank multiplayer actually pushed the uh, the speed running scene for that game single player forward because people did crazy fucking movement tech in the multiplayer of Ratchet and Clank. They got hyper niche community inspired movement tech for the single player speed runs. I love when shit like that happens. Midnight Club 2 is a similar uh, scene where they got really fucking good at um, fishtail drifting on keyboard and mouse. DMC3? Oh yeah, but without the multiplayer aspect of it. Uh, DMC3, it makes sense for people to get really into the tech of that game, because it's a game that rewards, you know, tech. I got into a couple arguments the other day about my cage, my cage 3 versus uh, Days take. Like, some cage 3 fans were like, oh, did you know about the jolt status effect? There's a, there's a cool magic tech interaction. And then literally all it is is enemies run into each other and take 20% damage as if it were like gravity with 20% if they run into each other and it's good for low level runs and I'm looking at that and I'm like... Is that your definition of tech? Is that supposed to convince me? And honestly, most people who think about... Most people who talk about Kingdom Hearts tech, like even KH2, people calling Slapshot Reflect tech, I don't think that that's tech at all. I think Keyblade switching in Cage 3 can be classified as tech, but most things are just, I'm just doing two things at once and the game permits me to do it. The game permits me to do slap shots and reflects really fast because that's how the game was made, it's not tech. Most things in Kingdom Hearts aren't tech. 
most Kingdom Hearts games have good gameplay as a result of having a good sandbox where you can just do multiple things at once, like uh, Magnet Trinity. My definition of tech as a Tony Hawk player who gets extensive use out of tech. My definition of tech is something, for the most part, unintended, that will carry your gameplay forward, like, everywhere you use it. Like, um, prime example, in any Tony Hawk game, most of the majority of them have um, a tech called butt slapping, where if you, um, I did not mean to walk into that, nice. If you, there's a thing you can do where you can get double jumps. Or triple jumps if you mash the button really fast after doing the setup properly. You can use that everywhere, and you get three times the amount of height. You can use that everywhere. Or, um... Bunny hop reverting. Which you can bustle up out of. I'll go do Wonderland. Last world for today. I have a rigid definition of tech, and most Kingdom Hearts games don't have any under my definition. I have a cage 3 ironically, with a keyboard switching, but when people try to convince me that Cage 3 has good magic interactions in tech by saying that there's a status effect on Thunder, you know, the spell that I have spammed so much in all my playthroughs of Cage 3 and barely ever noticed this fucking status effect ever go off. If that's how you're trying to convince me, then uh, try again. I'm not skipping this. Yeah, the rabbit is not French, so he's not saying slurs this time around. Just got a PS5 for my 23rd birthday? Hell yeah, now you've got something to play Kingdom Hearts 4 on. What do you consider Cage 2 Magnet Glide Cancel Tech? Um. I don't know. Where are Blizzards? It's kinda... a little bit. A little bit, I think. It doesn't really help you in a way that most tech you would usually want. Eh, it's kinda tech. It's hard for me to describe what tech is, though. It's a weird word. A weird concept. Hey, strong initiative. It's a good card. I can't believe you need tech to do smooth keyblade switching, and you don't even- if you do an item cancel keyblade switch, it resets your combo, which is good and bad. In order to do a keyblade switch combo that doesn't reset your combo, you have to- you have to tank that fucking delay. Where, um, you have to wait for your swing animation to completely expire, which is not how combos work in Kingdom Hearts games. A lot of KH3 tech is based around, um, fixing mechanics on the fly. Doing things to cope. Because in the news, I almost said about replaying the series, but I've talked myself out of this. Probably for the best. You can just watch my streams and get the experience with, via osmosis. Found somebody comparing the ATSD foot and the Cage 4 trailer, it's 99% identical. Yeah, I mean, I could... I, I could see that it was like 99% identical just by looking at it, honestly. It's like... It's an open and clo it's an open and shut case. Star Wars is in Kingdom Hearts. I'm here for it, personally. I'd have to see more of it to have a better um, conclusion, but... I think it's promising. Nice. Stoked for 60 FPS cage to get ready for crashes. I think it's mostly stable now, as long as it's the most recent version. There is a um, 
autosaver mod, though, that you might be interested in. I need a zero. I don't have a zero as well. Yeah, Ren is a KH1 boomer elitist. And she's right. KH1 is the best Kingdom Hearts game. I've been referred to as a Zoomer Boomer for quite some time now. I almost consider making it part of my brand. Did I get a zero? The way I see it, KH1 and KH2, it's the Old Testament versus the New Testament, right there. There are no enemies. Let's open this up. I just stepped in shit. Oops. Ah! Uh, it's the large body spawned. What is the cutoff for Zoomers and whatever comes next? What's the next thing? The next generation? When's the cutoff? Do we know yet? What's the last year to be born as a Zoomer? No one knows yet? We should figure it out. We should have consistent, uh... Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, the strike raid! Let's go! I'm gonna start uploading the raw VOD. Oh fuck. I'm gonna start uploading the raw VOD of, um. Get a head start on this before I end stream. I, if, it's, if it starts to fuck up the, um. If it starts to fuck up the stream, then I will stop uploading it, but I'm gonna start uploading the... the KH3 discussion. The unedited KH3 discussion, uh... The stream archive. I wanna get that out sooner than later. Oh, fucks up my upload speed in the stream, I'll just cancel it immediately. Actually, no, I need to crop this, and I'll do that later, fuck it, I forgot. I didn't start the recording at the right time. going back and forth between using the left stick to walk around and the uh, the d-pad like uh, subconsciously I'm not even realizing what I'm doing I just go back and forth between the two I should stop questioning it oh boy oh boy here's the take 
between ship going to 0 0.2 and you going to GBA comes starting to think that KH4 hype is some real mind warp type shit. Was ship playing 0 0.2 today? That's a fish. He was? Oh shit, I didn't even know. I was asleep. What was he doing on 0 0.2? Fucking around or doing like a run? GBA Com is actually fun. You see what's happening on screen right now? The bosses kind of suck, but holy shit. See what's happening? Did you see that? Although, it is true. Cage 4 definitely kind of, um... Has gotten into my head. That's not wrong. I went live just to talk about the trailer and looked at a view count of about 350 and I was like, okay, yeah, everybody's fucking brain controlled right now in this chat room. Rightfully so. Shit looks cool. The cool thing about strike rate spamming is you have to be in the right spot to optimize this, especially at uh, tip distance. Because like a point blank strike rate is not better than um than timing it just right. I think Ray of Hope is better than the KH3 theme. Hey, nice. That's a haste. Actually, kind of a good card. Yes, yeah, Skrillex. Hyperwool. Damn, they almost got me coming out of that fucking cutscene. They are not waiting around. Where am I going? Bash, what do you think about Cage Four? What is your, what was your what was your initial reaction? How do you feel about the way that it looks and the fact that Star Wars is in it? Hey, what's up, Nightmare? Long time no see. Big news today. I'm sure you've seen. Oh, I don't have it. What? what room haven't I gone to? KH 3.5. Cutscene writing's gonna be dog shit, trash, awkward, garbagio. Gar gar Hope that gravity and landing are more prominent. Yeah, I don't know what the rundown on um, physics are gonna be like in that game. I don't know if they're gonna realize that. Fun air combos should be part of the priority list, or if it's gonna be Dragon Ball Z air combos, ground combos in the air all over again. But hopefully, even if it is gonna be like that, I hope they find out a way of making the mob fights more involved. Didn't tell I saw your title, yeah, I um. Maybe that's why my view count has been so high today, is that Cage 4 is in the title. Like, even after I switched to GBA com. I'm gonna have Cage 4 discussion in every title for the next week. Where am I going? What room haven't I unlocked? How have I now unlocked the, um... How the fuck do I get there? Oh, I see. You guys broke into my house and threatened to murder my son if I didn't give you business. Have I opened up a bounty in this world? I don't think I have. Kingdom Hearts. Oh, let's go. Is your king dumb? <clears throat> Kingdom Hearts. Because he doesn't have a heart. Two in a row? What the fuck? Dumb? 
It's a 10% chance. Stop. How's that happen? How's it happen? He must have made that because he knows he's a fucking mascot around here. He knows. Yo, no Mero with the sub. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy my very shitty and non-commissioned emotes. That's the style around here. Thank you very much. I left him the link to your Twitch in the cameo. Oh, I didn't know about that. Holy shit. I didn't know about that. Hell yeah. You'll be watching right now. Doing delivery this spring break spot, so I'm making money now. Hell yeah. Shh, money. You know, a couple of my, um, a couple of people I know are doing, um, DoorDash. They're doing IRL side quests. And they're actually making good money for it, relative to the amount that they have to spend on gas and all that. I don't know if I would do that, but uh, the people that I know that do it actually get a, um, it's worth their time doing dominoes. Oh, nice. I've seen a lot of people say that they have a good experience doing door dashes and deliveries and whatnot. Making 200, 300 night. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. How many deliveries do you think uh, go into that figure? Oh. Eight? Eleven to twenty-five depends on the night. That's pretty good. Oh, slow down. Oh, shit. Oh. Why is Twitch blocking my messages automatically? Are you trying to type any message that has the word Sonic in it? That could be why. Or maybe it has Kappa in it. Yeah, Kappa is banned. No worthwhile messages ever ended in Kappa. I get tips to plus 10 an hour plus X amount per delivery. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, do you get do you actually get paid for like the gas that you have to spend? I didn't know about that. I thought people would have to pay for their own gas on deliveries. You probably do for DoorDash, but not for like Domino's. That's probably why. That's good. Ten an hour is pretty good. For somebody that gets, um, tips. Can you believe that, like, restaurant waiters get, like, four an hour because of tips? Oh, my card setup is not good right now. Oh, well. I like do. Oh, yeah, we're getting there. Once I use all of the, all the strike raids, I get a normal deck where I can do three hit combos. Because all the, all the magic cards have expired and they're not in the way. Only ten because our store is understaffed. Otherwise, it'd be six. Oh, nice. That's a that's a great opportunity to get like an actual decent pay. I hope Sora goes to the Muscle Gold Cafe. He has an opportunity now, doesn't he? Hell yeah. It better be in Quadratum. Inshallah. Call it finisher? No. Oh. There goes the table that I just fucking blasted for two seconds. Let's go. Yeah, I want to see Sora pay for that fucking apartment that he has. Like, holy shit.
Supposedly, the place he lives in real life is the most expensive residential district in Tokyo or something. Manager said he made 101 night and 901 night once. Nice. How long does it take to do, like, say, 10 deliveries? I'll, uh... That's worth factoring in. I guess it varies depending on distance, but on average. We got through that world pretty fast. Let's, um... Let's do one more world real quick. I thought that would take longer. Minute world. I thought it was like 15 minutes actually. I don't know. I had an interview that went well manifest for you. Didn't you say that it went well? What kind of job are you getting if you don't mind me asking? Four is the number for death. Quadratum is referred to in afterworld. I hope that quadratum also doubles as um, square. Because you know, quad, square, four edges. Square city. But I never, I didn't know about, I didn't make the connection of it being, um, related to the number four Japanese. I have heard about that, though. I remember that was, um, in a book I read once. Main character was, um, had a phobia for the number four and doing things four times. Artemis Fowl. One's for a PR firm, the other's are for a publishing company. Oh, nice. Four is our number for 13 in Japan. That's funny because of how prominent the number 13 is used in these games. They've got like a fetish for the number 13 over here, scaring the shit out of us Westerners. Yeah, it's also in uh, Chinese numerology as well. Because of the pronunciation, right? That's cool. Red is also unlucky. Yo, Nightmare with the fiver. Thank you very much. Very based. The five gifted subs. Thanks a lot, and um, I hope you're doing well. Yeah, that Cage 4 hype is, um, no wonder people farm the shit out of, uh, Kingdom Hearts trailers whenever they come out. It's just business. Good business. Yeah, it's interesting how Hades has always been a major player in the Kingdom Hearts games. More or less. He's always been, like, one of the first Disney characters to get shown off in trailers as well. one last world and then I think the Lark scene fight and then that's a good place to leave off. Hopefully we don't get stuck on any number doors. Oh, we don't have a uh, Halloween town up in this game. That's pretty crazy. Oh, let's go. Nice. Oh. The last orb is all I needed. How many card point upgrades have I gotten? I don't think I've uh, adjusted my deck for that. Where do you think Donald and Goofy were? Do you think they were in the Realm of Darkness, or were they in some undisclosed um, 
area. Did they say what engine KH4 is going to be in? It's going to be an Unreal 5. The trailer that they showed today was in Unreal 4, but they said that the game itself is going to be in 5, which is very, very exciting, because that engine looks cracked. It looks hella good. Kingdom Hearts 3 was in Unreal 3. Or, not 3. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3 is in Unreal 4. They uh, switched engines halfway through development to put it in 4, and they got good results out of it, so I guess they're doubling down. Which is cool, because that game's gonna have, like, hyper-realistic graphics in certain areas. It's also gonna have fucking Star Wars in it. <laughs> I can't believe they're doing it. But they are. Oh. Yeah, I remember seeing that Matrix tech demo as well, that shit was pretty cool. Oh, they put it on PC, really? I want to see Yozora be based as fuck. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm excited to see more of Yozora and what he actually does. Who knows? Is he even going to be in Cage 4? Didn't they mention that Valorum Rex was a separate game, or was that mistranslation? I really have no idea what's going on anymore. With all these mistranslations floating around. Okay, now we have a surplus of cards. Get all these raids organized. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I don't know how to navigate this menu in this version. Nice, exactly 575. Nice, this is a good deck right here. You know, I wonder what console I'll get, um, KH4 when it first comes out. I think I'll get it on PS5 first, and then, um, the Epic Gay Store will send me a copy. Epic Gay Store and Tim Sweeney, they always send me Square products when they first come out. So they'll probably send me a PC code that I'll, um, like, I, I want to do my first playthrough, like, 100% guaranteed it'll be solid and, like, stable. And I'm sure that because it's Unreal 5, it'll run fine, especially with my 3070 Ti, but... Because I have a PS5, I might as well get the benefits of having a more stable version right away, and then any replay I'll do on PC. That's probably what I'll end up doing, just for safety. Oops. The quote was that Nomura didn't want to name the next game Varum Rex because they would be confusing. So they named it KH4. Oh yeah, didn't we, weren't we talking about that earlier? And I was like, damn, they only, the whole reason why they're not doing a non-numbered mid-sequel is because they didn't want people to be confused. Don't you think, Nomura, don't you think it's a little fucking late for that, actually? Didn't, didn't you guys just port Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 HD collection to PC? And the Nintendo Switch on a fucking quad port? Didn't you guys re release a game called 2.8 Final, Ch Final Chapter Prologue, but now they're worried about confusing people because Sora's dead? Kind of. Interesting time to... <laughs> Interesting time to do that. I guess because they're starting a new arc, like, very, very... Um... Openly starting a new arc. I, I guess it's a good time to start with a new... Numbered title, I guess. It's just weird that they're skipping a non-numbered title. Funny ad time? Sure, I'll press the button. Hey, the button worked this time. You think Square Inks are going the right direction now? Um... Show me gameplay and I'll... I'll expand on that. I'm gonna keep it real with you, I don't think the King Marts collections are coming out on Steam. I also don't think that that would make much of a difference in terms of the modding scene either, really. Maybe. I think anybody that wants Kingdom Hearts on PC already has it, regardless of if they have the Epic Games Store installed on their PC or not. Do you have a hotkey to run ads? I have a stream deck with an ad button. Really cool piece of hardware. 
How did I not hit that guy? Holy strike raid. Going nuts. Press the other button, I gotcha. Oh yeah, shoutouts to that Steam Deck though. That is a pretty interesting um, console. Ha console? Handheld? It's neat that it has um, shader pre-caching. And I can actually run Elden Ring better than some PCs because of that. And the weird slowdown that that game has. Shitty deck. I'm gonna start replacing my kingdom keys. I don't know if I'm gonna have space though. I'll do it later. Do I have any other zeros other than this fucking bounty card that I don't want to use? Shit. I'll just put a 9 on it if I don't need to take this any further. Oops. Do you think we'll get a Moogle in the Tokyo Drip Fit next game? I hope so. That would fucking own. I can't wait to see the Moogles in that game. That would be swell. Oh, those are some good cards right there. Streetwear Moogles that would own. I don't have a fucking- I don't have any red cards? Okay, time to do some fights. Pipe Beast Moogle. Now I need to see a dripped out Moogle Photoshop. I don't think I ever have seen any edits like that. You know what to do. I really need to go get a red Nocturne card so I get fire boost so that these fire rates hit even harder. That would be worth my time. What the fuck just happened to me? Did you see me like mid dodge roll? That was weird. It looked like I got hit, but I was like mid dodge roll. It'd be cool if Cage 4 had the um, FF14 characters that Nomura designed. Like that one girl with the black hair. I don't know her name. How many characters did he make for that game? Yeah, Gaia. Just Gaia? Nobody else? I'm gonna put her in.
Where am I even going? Yeah, there we go. Alright, what's next? Uh, this one? Nope. Probably that one. And then this one is the, uh, yeah, last room. Very exciting future for Kingdom Hearts. I already used, uh, I've got a surplus of these, I'll use one here. Maybe I'll get a good card. I didn't remember if I already used my, uh, bounty card in this world. Yeah, I'm very interested to hear what kind of, um, performance Haley Joel Osment will give to Sora. I think Haley Joel Osment should lean more into his own natural voice and kind of get away from, like, imitating the kid Sora voice. Go deeper, I guess. Lean more into the Vanitas? Yeah, just a little bit. And be a bit angrier, perhaps, but that's more so the writing of the character than anything. It's if they keep Haley. Yeah, okay, th that thought crossed my mind, too. The idea that they want... There's, there's no way that they would replace him. He's two characters, not one. He's Vanitas, and oh, who knows if Vanitas is going to exist anymore. Hopefully, he is dead forever. There's no way they replace Haley. The older Sora gets, the more, the better of a cast Haley Joel Osment remains. If they wanted to redub oh, Haley Joel Osment, they would have done it in like DDD or something. There's no way. He's too important. There's just no way. I want this from Haley. Hold on, let me open that. Oh, accidental sore voice. He froze. This is such. This is such. A, I need to watch more Haley Joel Osment movies just so I can like maybe make edits of all the scenes where he dips into the Sora. That'd be cool. Let me. Uh, let me mute this shit real quick. He froze because he knew that I knew what he was. They're gonna send him to the chair, Liz. And that seems like an easier route than this torture you're putting yourself through because you won't let him go. He's killing you because you're letting him. You're just jealous because Ted and I have a bond you and I never could. No, you're just trying to hurt me. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Leaking Cage 4? Yeah, I want to hear that. I want to hear that exact tone, but maybe like 10% more into the traditional Sora pitch. Just 10%. Okay, I need a, a low number red card, and then I'm free. Ted Bundy world. Where are the enemies? I'll remake a room. Give me, uh... Give me one of these. I don't have... Enough. Give me one of these, fuck it. Can I roll? I don't think Cage 4 is gonna be rushed at all. With, um, supposedly, I don't know where this source comes from, but supposedly it's been in development since, like, what, 2018? Somebody said? Somebody said that earlier. I don't know if that adds up, but. 
Spirit Moogle in the stream chat? Okay, one sec. That's not a red card. Oh, hell yeah. Basic, but good. Thank you for your contribution. Yeah, so I don't think KH4 will be as long of a development time or slash rushed as KH3 was because, um... KH3, they started off doing some clown shit on the Luminous engine, so on and so forth. Time played. Um, switched engines to Unreal 4, had to get acquainted to that, and like port everything over or whatever. KH4, on the other hand, straight into Unreal 4, Unreal 5, or whatever. Probably reusing assets where applicable. Either late 2023 or early 2024. That's my... You heard it here first. Not really. I'm just saying what other people are saying. But that's, um, you heard it here first. Where are the fucking red cards? Come on, man. I don't need blues. Give me the loot. Oh. Whatever. Final Fantasy 16 is also pretty exciting, but we've heard nothing from it for a while. That's kind of uh, putting a damper. Enough blues! Fuck! What the hell? I don't know. I'm gonna be Maybe guess it. The devs for 16 said they only want to release one demo and they want it to be good. That's pretty exciting. Are you excited for Missing Link? No. I'll, I'll probably stream that game once just to make fun of it. Cage 3 style mobile gotcha game. That's... that... that... that joke writes itself. Okay. You guys can keep that one. I'm, I'm just looking forward for cage 4 Oh shit, Blizzaga. Is that what Blizzaga does in this? I should owned. Should probably consider using that. It's like a bomb. That was in a blizzard as a bomb. Jack is cracked. Where are my map cards? Hey, I got it. Okay. Yeah, probably FF16 stuff soon. It's been long enough. Oh, but do I have all the greens I need? I don't think I do. Oh boy. It'll be fun. Sheesh, McGeesh. Okay, uh, what do we do about that? Teeming darkness, let's go. Oh, come on, man. Zero. Yeah, E3 is not going to be at E3 this year. What else? What else of note is in the Nvidia leak? 
that hasn't been officially revealed yet. Let's list that off. NVIDIA leak is right as rain right now. FF9 remake? Oh, yeah. Didn't the NVIDIA leak have two Kingdom Hearts things and not just one? It said Kingdom Hearts 4 and then it said something else. SMG5 on PC? Let's go. Hey, search ghost. I don't know what that does. Things vanish. Why would they remake FF9 of all things? Is a game that popular enough to warrant that? Yeah, define remake. Is it FF7R style? Or is it gonna be uh, like a remaster? They had an unannounced title by Square that wasn't KH? I thought that they had two Kingdom Hearts things. I could have sworn at least. I don't know. It never happened. Are you not dead? Holy fuck, these guys are tanky. GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas remasters. Yeah, those came out already, didn't they? Like, real remasters, or the things that already came out? That look like shit. That's a zero green that doesn't fucking help me at all here. Swell. Swell. Could have been a nine. Zero. I think I'm about to pay the price for not leveling health as much. Orxine, Cock and Ball Torture is right around the corner. Hey, an eight. There we go. I figured out that the perfect distance for the strike rate is right at the edge of the screen. Assuming I'm against the wall. It goes about that far. Like right here. We'll bounce. More or less. There are no greens, but at least a shitload of enemies are in this big room. Apparently, wasn't Final Fantasy VIII, like, a, a, a lost a lot of its developers to Final Fantasy IX? During development. That's what I heard. How many greens do I have? What is this? I have eight, and a zero. I really need to make a macro on my controller for L and R so I can just press triangle. That's when my controller is dying. I'll go until my controller dies. If it dies before I get to the boss fight, I'll just say fuck it and save state. Hey, a four. In fact, I'll actually probably just save um, in the uh, Conqueror's Respite and not. Do whatever is after that. Fucking seven still remaining. What the hell? Ha! Ha! 
They should do, um... After all the parts of Final Fantasy VII are, are out, they should do an FF7R style remake of, um, the Zack game. Should they do that? Do you agree? Should Crisis Core get a 7R chapter? Crisis Core is getting remade on mobile. Well, I mean, that's, um... So is... Final Fantasy 7, they got that fucking mobile version where it's like, oh yeah, here's everything. That's different. So is, like... So is Dirge, right? Like, all those fucking compilation games are being put into one... The enemies. I can get these. Where are the enemies? What is all the space for? There were no enemies in here. Oh. Alright. I'm feeling a little gassed. It's been a long stream and I did not get much sleep. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to create a room that has a save point in it, and then end stream. Very good stream today, though. I'm I really enjoyed that KH4, um, that that KH4 trailer party. That was a lot of fun. And of course, all of the generosity helped too. But yeah, let's uh, let's wrap this one up. How do I make a good save state on this emulator? The save state plus the save that I the hard save that I made. Save state. Slot one. Oh, this got they got slots on this. Holy shit, look at that. I've never used this emulator before. Look at that. It's got pictures too. Cool. Cool. Okay, well, yeah, that's it for me today. Very fun day. Glad to milk the KH4 hype because I am genuinely hyped for that game. Very, very exciting. Uh, I will have some kind of highlight cut of, um, of that portion of the stream. I'll do something on the main channel, but on the, um, on the VOD channel, I'll do a uncut version of it, if I do end up cutting it at all. Uh, but yeah, be excited, stay tuned for more GBA com. Um... I don't know if I'll be live for the next two days. I kind of need some time to, um, need some space to make some videos and work on some stuff and focus on my sleep schedule a little bit, but we'll see. I want to say like 40% chance I'll end up streaming tomorrow anyways, but for the most part I will, um, might take it just a tiny bit of time to, uh, chill a little bit and work on some videos and stuff. Look at that. Look at those credits, long credits today, thank you guys. Kingdom Hearts 4, can you believe it? Yeah, I finally got... Okay, Twitch has trophies. I finally got the trophy where um, you get 100 people chatting at the same time. For months, it was at 98 out of 100. But I unlocked additional VIP badges, apparently, because of that, because of today's stream. That's swell. Yeah, GG to Talk to Me 3. That's the name of the trophy. That's, uh, that's swell. Yeah, the chat was fucking schmoovin' in the first hour of the stream. That shit was nuts. Crazy ass. It was the France tag for sure. Cool. Alright, well, I'm going to bed. 
Uh, I haven't been raiding a lot lately just because every time I've 